So when you're given a question like this, you'll always be given the reaction. Um, and you can be asked to find Kc or actually other values at equilibrium that you'll see in some of the practice problems. Um, but a good starting place is always from the reaction, write your equilibrium expression with nothing, no math, no numbers, nothing plugged in. Um, in fact, that's when we're going through and grading a quiz or a test. That's where we give one of the points for is can you just write the equilibrium expression? A lot of students will make mistake once they start plugging things in. So take the extra 10 seconds to write out the expression. Um, Kc, products over reactants. Now, I didn't say solid, liquid, or gas. If I don't say solid, liquid, gas, aqueous, you can assume everything is good to go and belongs in the equilibrium expression. Um, so products over reactants, NH3 is our product. It's going to be squared. N2 is a reactant, no coefficient, no exponent. H2 is a reactant, cute. Um, now remember, the brackets mean molarity. So I want to plug values in, in molarity. Molarity, to find it, is moles divided by liters. So for each of these, I'm going to take the moles that I was given, divide them by the 5 liters, then I'll have a molarity value for each that I can plug in. Now something to note that doesn't matter yet, but it'll matter moving forward, only equilibrium values can be plugged in. So if it doesn't explicitly tell you that they're equilibrium values, don't assume you can plug them in. Um, this question says, add equilibrium. So as soon as I get those values into molarity, I can plug them in. I could make this harder, I could give you grams. You would go from grams to moles, then from moles to molarity, and plug those in. But for now, we'll just find the molarity of each using the moles, it'll be easier. So for N2, moles, two moles, divided by the 5 liters is 0.4. Make sure you plug it in the right spot. That's another place people also mess up. So it's N2, goes down here. No exponent. H2, 1 divided by 5, gets me 0.2. That's going to be cute. And 2.5 divided by 5 gets me 0.5 for the NH3 my equilibrium expression says to square it. Um, when you type this on your calculator, make sure you have parentheses around the whole denominator or solve the numerator and the no denominator separately um, and then get your answer. So you should get 78.125. There are no units on this number. Values can be all over the place. They can be much smaller. They can be bigger. Um, as long as you're plugging in molarity, you should be good. Try the try problems.